let's have a look at pop-ups in Elemental. This is relatively quite simple. I'm just going to go over some basics and then what we're going to try and do is a pop-up that activates another pop-up. So let's just do the first bit, which is let's set up a basic pop-up with Elemental. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is set up a pop-up. Now, two ways you can do this. You can go to templates and you can go to pop-ups, which makes sense. Or you can go to save templates. Either way, it's the same process. You click add new and we are going to pick, where is it? Pop-up, there we go. And I'm just going to call this one pop-up um, one. Very important, you remember your names and how you've written it. So pop-up one. You're probably going to give it a better name, okay? So we're going to click create template. Now, as soon as you do that, you are going to get options for lots of pop-up templates you can use. There's quite a variety here, or you can just create your own. Now, for simplicity, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick um, one that's already made for us, like something like this here, okay? And I'm just going to insert that. Once I've inserted it into my, well, there it is, I can now go ahead and do what you would basically do with any normal kind of you know, pop up or anything in here or any template widget is you go in and you start modifying the look of it. Okay, I'm not going to spend too long on this. Okay, change the icon, you know, change the imagery, change whatever you want, however you've got it. Okay, in fact, this is probably not the one I wanted to be using. I'm going to just add in a form as well because I need to show use this example in another tutorial I'm going to be doing later on. So I'm just going to add this in. I'm going to get rid of this button that's here. I'm also just going to get rid of a uh, name and message as well. So all it is is it pretend this is a subscription pop up, right? It pops up and it's something like, "Hey, exclusive offer! Get this ebook or get this discount or coupon code or something." But to get it, you're going to have to give us your email, subscribe. We promise not to send you rubbish information. Blah 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 blah. You know the drift, the drill on that. Okay, so. We're going to put an email in here. Great. Now, what I will say you do, though, is that when you have clicked on your pop up and you've done all of your jiggery pokery on it, you need to click the settings button here. I mean, there is style and there is advanced as well, but that's just going to be for the widgets. What you do is when you're on your pop up, you need to go to settings. Now, when you go to settings, you see a load more options. Whereas normally on a page or anywhere else, when you click settings, you just get to see stuff like hide the page title and the, the, maybe the layout width or something like that. You get a lot more options here. And this is where you get to decide now how big is your pop-up going to be. So let's just leave it as is, fit to content. We're not going to change anything here. Yes, there will be a close button as we do. The animation fade in, what will be the exit animation if you want to have one? So it fades in, fades out, or does it just disappear when you hit the close sign? Okay, duration. You have some general settings, but again, remember, make sure you keep a note of what it's called. Pop up one. Very important. Okay, let's now go to the style. I'm not going to change anything here. The close button, we could change it to be... Um, Okay. We could change it to be a different colour. Again, up to you what you do there, right? We've got the overlay, so you might have some background overlay going on, something like that. You probably wouldn't do that. You might do something more like this, where you pick a colour and just make it slightly transparent. So when the pop-up appears, everything else behind it is there's this bit of a darker overlay, so your focus is on the pop-up. Again, entirely up to you what you do there. And for the pop-up, again, you know, do you want to add a shadow or not a shadow? Do the border, you know, blah, blah, blah. Let's just go for 50, you know, basic stuff here. Now, the advanced one, this is the one that's a little bit important. I always, always tick prevent closing on overlay. What that means is for you to close it, you've got to hit the X button because sometimes you might click here. So someone gets a pop-up and then accidentally their trigger finger clicks the mouse or something, they click over here and the pop-up disappears. And you kind of want them to only do that by hitting the X button over there, okay? And that is it. That's all I'm doing. Nothing else really, okay? I mean, when I go down here um, to this button here, which is the email form, so they're going to, obviously, you know, go in here and, you know, stick in the email address it's going to go to, etc., etc. You will notice there is a function here called actions after submit. Now, this is where 
we are going to add in an action. So after you have submitted, this is where it's going to open another pop-up. But we haven't even done the first pop-up. So let's just get the first pop-up done, okay? We're going to click publish, all right? When you do publish on a pop-up, you now have the options to decide on basically how does it appear on the screen. So the first condition we're going to say is that this is only going to, is this the entire site or just the home page? I'm only going to have this on a singular page and I'm only going to pick a widget. Widget, there we go, because that's the page I'm going to test this on, okay? There we go. So we've added that and then we're going to hit next. So again, remember, are you going to have your pop-up on every single page, which can be a little bit annoying? Are you going to only have the pop-up appear on maybe the cart page? So maybe there's a coupon, maybe, or the shop. So when someone goes into your shop of your website, that's when the pop-up appears. Hey, by the way, did you know? Or whatever. Or even better, they go to the checkout page and you have a pop-up appear that says, hey, please make sure you have not forgotten about this special product, limited time offer, something like that. Or why are you leaving my website? Come back, come back. Okay, so here's where we're going to say, we've at, we're going to set this up on the widget page. And I'm going to say this should come on after, let's just go for two seconds. Normally you'd go for it instantly or maybe one or one and a half. Don't delay it too much. But let's just put two seconds. Or I might say activate when you have scrolled a certain amount of the page. So if I, I might say 10%. You scroll 10%, pop up appears. So have a think about placement, or maybe the pop up appears at a certain bit on the page. So 50%, you've got loads of text and images, and then a pop up appears, which is relevant to that section. Think of what you know, there's lots of tricks you could play here. Inactivity, page exit, you know, they're leaving, pop up appears, maybe when they click somewhere as well. So let's say they've clicked one or two or three times. I'm not really sure about that one, but you could have it on there. Okay, so we're just going to have it on page load after two seconds. Okay, and there we go. So that is now live. I'm, I'm pretty sure I forgot something there. Display conditions. Next. Next. There you go. Yes, I hit save and close there. Right. Then what you can also decide is how many times this is going to appear on your page. Um, maybe. This, even though they've come onto your widget page, maybe um, it only works after they've gone through an internal or an external link. Again, I rarely use these ones up here. I do sometimes touch this one to say only show up a number of times or only show up after a certain number of page views. Play around and test it out, people. But anyway, my main one is the trigger, okay? And it's only going to appear on the widget page. Sorry, I was hidden away out of view then, wasn't I? Sorry. Okay, right, so we are now going to uh, save and close. Okay, great, so that's now set up on there. I'm now going to go back into my template, which is here, and I'm gonna go to pop-ups, okay? I'm now gonna go to create another new pop-up, and this one I'm going to put offer. No, we're gonna call it pop-up two, just so <laughs> I know what I'm doing here. Pop-up one, pop-up two, okay. And this pop-up is going to have no existing template, and I'm just going to install, I'm just going to stick in an image. Um, I'm going to put in a text word that might say something like, uh, thank you. You know, again, style it, centralize it, use your fonts and color schemes and whatever. And then I might, um, I might, I might, I might, I might give them like a button, something like this over here. And this button might now say something like um, down, download file, or it might even have the coupon code here. So after they've subscribed, the coupon code is then revealed to them on this screen. But we're going to put download file. And what I would have done here is I would have maybe have linked to, say, a PDF, which I'm not going to get now, but I would have put the PDF address in or something like that. So it opens it or it takes them somewhere else to the website, whatever was your offer. OK, fine. So I'm now going to publish this. I now get my conditions. There aren't actually any conditions here because this is going to appear after you've done the first pop-up, right? So we're just going to save and close. Okay, you with me so far? Right, 
If we now go back into my templates, we go to templates, save templates, and we'll just look at all. There's pop up one and there is pop up two. We're going to go to pop up one, edit with Elemental. Okay, so we know what pop up one does. It allows you to see a timer, a few descriptions, and it asks you for your email address. But what I want it to do, if I just move myself just here, if we go to the form, okay, we go to actions after submit, we have collect submissions, we have email. I'm now going to type pop up. Hmm, I wonder what this does. And what you do is, when, as soon as you add it, the option pop up appears here. Look, let me take it off. It's, it's, it is not there. I am not lying to you. And then we do pop up. Now we have the word pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up. You get what I mean. We then click pop up, action, open pop up. We are now going to open pop up two. Yeah? Okay. And then we click, um, we click update. That's now updated. So the theory is you go to the widget page. This pop-up will appear after two seconds. You add in your email address. Once you've hit submit, I mean, the mistake I've made here is the submit button you can't even see. Let's just style that. Damn, what am I doing? I'm expecting you to be able to hit an invisible button. Let's just put it in red for now. Okay, update. So when you hit send, obviously it sends the email off to wherever, but then it will open up another pop-up where I can now download or see a coupon code or do something else like a song and a dance. You get the idea. No, you don't. You, you all hate me. Why are you even watching this video? Why are you here? Because you love me, really. I hope. Anyway, so let's just go to pages. Okay. And we're going to go to our widget page. We're just going to click view. And this is just where I was testing it. By the way, I better just show you what this is. This is where I'm testing out. Um, a cinema, a cinom, a cinematograph, a cinematograph. I don't even know how you pronounce it. So this is where I'm testing out. So this is an image uh, on top of a, a video. So that's a still image on top of a video. And I was testing out is an animated GIF take up more space than a, a video. And believe it or not, the video was like uh, less than a quarter of the size of the animated GIF. <laughs> Who knew? Anyway, let's just refresh the page and watch what happens after I've refreshed the page. One to pop up appears okay we have the overlay in the background and if i now go into here and i just type in uh info at web squadron because you all should know this email address by heart by now and i click send it is going to send look straight away we have our pop up the second one i can now download my file Maybe there's a coupon code. Maybe there's a special, maybe there's a product. Aha, you can't see this special product or even purchase this product or add it to your cart until you subscribe. Whoa, that's a nice one, isn't it? Or maybe not. But do you get the idea? So I've just created a pop-up, created another pop-up, connected the second pop-up to the first pop-up and tested it out. I hope that helps you out a little bit. Because I love doing stuff like this. Um, you could even have a pop-up upon a pop-up upon a pop-up, which might just become pop -alicious crazy. Like, subscribe, right down there, come on, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>